Hello and welcome to this Excel H video on how to use the Define Name menu in Excel for Mac to manage and create names or name ranges. In this video I'm going to show you how to create names and how to edit names using the Define Name menu. Uh, using this example here where on this first worksheet we have uh, a selection of cells which has some sales information for various pieces of hardware, laptops, tablets and desktops for each month of the year. We're then going to create this uh, name range and use it on this second worksheet to populate these VLOOKUP functions we're going to put in here which will show sales information uh, for each of the months of the year based on the drop down box here. Okay let's get started. First of all to access the define name menu click on the formula tab and then click the define name button here and this will click up the define name menu as you can see and to create uh, a new name you can uh, click the plus sign and to delete one you can click the minus sign because we just opened it up it's expecting us to create a new define name we haven't selected one yet so let's go into here and give our name a name and we're going to call it sales table and then we're going to select the range of cells that uh, this name will be associated with. So we're going to click this like on here and then we're going to highlight cells A1 down to D13. Click enter. So just to recap, we're calling this name sales table and this is going to be related to this range of sales, uh, cells, sorry, uh, on the worksheet table cells A1 to D13. I'm going to click OK. Now just to check that uh, that has taken correctly, we can highlight this range of cells again. And if we go up here to the name box, we should see that it says sales table. So let's insert this into our uh, function on the second worksheet. And we're going to use the VLOOKUP uh, function in our formula. So we're going to type in here VLOOKUP open brackets the lookup value, so the month that we're going to use in the VLOOKUP formula is going to be selected in this cell here, cell A2. So we're going to make that cell A2, and I'm going to make that, uh, oops, going to make that an absolute reference. So let's put the dollar sign in front of both of these. Type in our name that we've just created, sales table, column index. Column index is going to be uh, number two because that was the column that the laptops was on on our original range of cells or two and then we're going to type in false because we want an absolute match there we go now we're going to click enter okay and you can see it's already showing a value for laptops in july five thousand dollars apparently so now we're going to take this formula and we're going to copy it into each of these cells and then we're going to modify the column index to three and to four. Okay. Oops. No, we all make mistakes. There you go. So if we just select different months, like so, you'll see that the sales information updates. Okay. Now we're going to use the define name uh, menu to now modify our name that we have created and we're going to add a new column to our uh, original worksheet of sales data. So let's create this column and we're going to call this one mobile. Let's, there we go. And I'm going to cheat a little bit here and I'm going to make the mobile sales information double the tablet. So I'm going to times that by two. And then I'm going to copy that formula down. Okay. So we now have some sales information for mobile devices. Okay, so how do we modify this, uh, this name that we've created? Well, we can go back to the formula tab, click define names, select sales table, and we can do one of two things here. We can either click this icon and reselect this range of cells 
or we can just type into here all we've done is changed uh, the column we've got a new column so we're going to go from column a1 to column e13 that e click enter and click ok again we can check this by highlighting that range of cells and we see sales table so going back to our uh, second worksheet here with our lookup uh, uh, formula we're going to add a new column mobile you'll notice that I've already got the text in black so I'll set the background so the text in white and set the background to black add a nice border and we're going to copy that formula across again change the column And there we go. We have the sales information for mobile devices in April. Well, let's just check that to make sure that's correct. April, $14,000. Click a few different months to make sure it, it works. June, 28,000. June, 28,000. This seems to be working. September, 24,000. September 24,000. There you go. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up below or subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to pop across to my website, xlh.com. Thanks a lot. Bye.